Have you seen this kind of screenshot on internet where somebody has asked ChatGPT to summarize a particular link and ChatGPT comes up with an amazing response? I'm here to tell you that it is all complete BS. So it's pure hallucination and ChatGPT today cannot access the internet. This can change in the future, but as of today, like I'm recording this video on March 21st, 2023, ChatGPT or GPT-4, even for that matter, GPT-4, cannot access internet and I'm here to prove the same. For example, if you have seen this kind of screenshot where somebody would say summarize this paper or summarize this link and then they would paste the link and then ChatGPT would come up with an amazing response here saying what is the title of the paper, what are, who are the authors and what kind of summary it is. Only thing is most of the time we wouldn't have verified what the link is. So if I take the link and then go to a next tab and then paste the link, you can see this link is actually about robust speech recognition via large scale weak supervision. It also is the OpenAI Whisper link, the paper when it was announced. But alternatively, ChatGPT comes up with some, some complete random stuff, primarily because it doesn't have internet access. Second, from the given TLD, top level domain, it tries to guess what kind of content it might have. That's probably because in the training data set, these domains would have been included. And when those domains would have been included, it actually tries to guess what is it. Some of the instances when you try to ask it to summarize a particular link, it would outright say that I'm sorry, I cannot visit the web page directly. And uh, it would say that I cannot access internet, but it doesn't happen all the time. And some of the times you might also see this, this kind of message coming. And as you can see from the red, uh, black color screenshot, this is in fact GPT-4. So I'm going to give you a live demo, like live demo of how even GPT-4 tries to fool people. Copy this link, um, the paper link, go to GPT-4 and then say, summarize this link and then paste the paper. And then you can see it has come up with a completely, completely different paper. I don't know. I don't even know if this paper exists, but it has actually come up with this paper and uh, it has come up with the paper. Like as you have seen, I just said summarize this link. I didn't say summarize this paper, but it knows archive.org means it's a paper and it has come up with a paper. And that's quite a surprising thing. And the other hand, you can actually go to a lot of news website and then try to give a news article to it and then ask it to summarize. And it would kind of guess from the URL sometimes. Sometimes it would out outright deny that it cannot summarize because it doesn't have access to internet, but sometimes it tries to guess. Let's see what kind of link it tries to guess. So there's, there's an article from this. Uh, I'm going to copy this article and I'm going to go to chat GPT and then say summarize this link and then paste this link. And let's see if it denies, it didn't deny. It actually literally said that Bangalore International Film, Film Festival and then it is trying to give the date and it is trying to give uh, a summary. So it says, what is Bangalore International Film Festival? What does it have? Now, when you do not have the actual raw content about the URL, you might automatically assume that ChatGPT is really doing a great job. But as we have seen before, ChatGPT doesn't have any context of this, like totally no context of this, but still it is trying to guess what the URL might, might be based on the URL link. So to even explain this right now, you know, this is, this is actually a working URL, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, instead of Bangalore, I'm going to just say Banga and then paste this link. It works. Okay. Let's try something totally different. This number does not exist. So now if I paste this URL, this URL does not exist. It says it's a 404. Now I'm going to copy this link, go back to my chat GPT and then say, can you please summarize this link? And I'm going to paste the same link. Now, as you know, this link, okay. It, it says it is incorrect. Um, because the article ID is not valid. That's quite clever chat GPT. So let me come up with another article ID. So, so now you can see that I've edited here and added a four. This link is not accessible. Oops, 404. But when I pasted the same link, the article ID, you can see that I pasted the same link with two, five, five, four, nine, double nine, four, while that link is 404, but still it has gone because that is the pattern that chat GPT has learned for this URL. So what did we learn in this video? One outright chat GPT cannot access internet. Chat GPT powered by GPT-4 also cannot access internet, but it's not very easy to fool GPT-4 because it tries to understand the pattern. It tries to look at the URL and then understand the way in which the URL is built. 
So if you try to try to mess up the URL, like or it's also popularly known as permalink. If you try to mess up the permalink, it's most likely going to think that you are trying to mess up. So it says that the URL cannot be accessed, but in either way, it cannot access the URL. So if you ever see the screenshot or somebody praising, oh, amazing, ChatGPT has summarized this link or ChatGPT has summarized this paper. Unless the text has been given, it cannot access, it cannot go to the URL, it cannot scrape or it cannot parse it. So ChatGPT or GPT-4 cannot access internet. Please keep that in mind. See you in another video. Happy prompting.